Hi, welcome back. Today's session is called Folktale Patterns. Today, you will describe patterns and add on to and create patterns. Let's go. Before clicking on this video, you should have watched The Little Red Hen. It's one of my favorite stories. It had a couple different characters in it. This is a picture of the little red hen. She's the main character, the one who the story is all about. But there were a couple other characters in the story. Do you remember any of those? Yes, those were characters too. If you said the cat, the dog, and the mouse, you got it correct. <laughs> Those are all characters in the story. Hmm, let's see. This may be a challenging question, but do you know what sound a cat makes? <laughs> if you said meow, you got it right. You try meow. <laughs> Very good. Let's see your cat meow. Do you know what sound a dog might make? That's a great dog sound. If you said, woof, 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 <laughs> that's an awesome dog sound. And the last one is the mouse. Do you know what sound a mouse might make? Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good. Those were all the characters and their animal noises from the little red hen. Today, we're going to practice making patterns using animal noises. Let's practice. As I click through the next pictures, whenever you see an animal's face pop up on the screen, make their animal noise. Are you ready? Here we go. It's a cat. What sound does it make? Meow, meow. Uh huh. Woof, 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 woof. A cat again. Meow, meow. Are you making your animal noises? Try this one. Woof. <laughs> nice. Meow, meow. Woof. Very good. Great job making a pattern. You might have not even noticed, but did you see how we repeated the animals a couple times? We did the cat three times, and we did the dog three times as well. And did you notice how they took turns? That was a pattern. It repeated. We made this pattern. Cat, dog, cat, dog cat, dog. Great job. Now let's practice reading this pattern using our animal noises, starting with this cat. Ready? Go. Meow. Woof. Meow. Woof. Meow. Woof. Did do you hear again how they took turns making their animal sound? This pattern is called an A-B pattern because two pictures repeated. The first picture in the pattern will get the letter A. That's because the letter A is the first letter of the alphabet and it can help us with patterns. The second picture is not a cat though, it's a dog. So we're going to give the dog the letter B. That's because the letter B is the second letter of the alphabet. Now, the third picture in our pattern is a cat again. We don't keep naming the alphabet. Instead, we already gave the cat picture a letter. We gave the cat picture a letter A. So we will give this cat picture a letter A too. Hey. Well, we're to a dog picture again. So what letter do you think this dog needs? 
If you said B, you got it right. Do you see how it's repeating? Next, I see a cat picture. Do you know what letter the cat is getting? Letter A, great job. And the last dog in our pattern is going to be getting the letter B, very good. This is called an A, B pattern. There were two pictures that we repeated that took turns. This is a pattern and we use the letters in the alphabet to label it. Now, can you read this pattern's labels with me? We're going to say the names of their matching letters. Read with me. Ready, go. A, B, A, B, A, B. Very good pattern reading. Now we're going to try a different pattern. This time, watch the screen, and when the animal's face pops up, make their animal sound just like you did before. Are you ready? Here we go. Woof. Squeak. Meow. Woof. Squeak. Meow. Very good. Did you see the same animals again? But this looks like a trickier pattern. I might need some help. This time, we're going to give them the letters of the alphabet again. We're going to label them. But this time, because the dog started the pattern, it will get the letter A, not the letter B. The dog is now the first picture of the pattern, so it gets the letter A. It will look like this. Now our little mouse is in our pattern. And since the mouse is the second, the second picture of the pattern, it will get the letter B. You got it. Now this is the tricky part. In this pattern, we have three different pictures, the dog, the mouse, and the cat. Has there been a cat in our pattern yet? Well, in the last pattern, but this is a new pattern. And in this pattern, there hasn't been a cat yet. So the cat will not get the letter A, and the cat will not get the letter B. What letter do you think the cat will get? A, B, C. <laughs> of course, the cat is the third picture of the pattern, so it gets the letter C. C is the third letter in the alphabet. But now our, our pattern repeats again. This dog will now get the letter A. It will match. And this mouse will get the letter B. It will also match. And that tricky cat, don't let him trick you. He will now get the letter C. Very good. Let's see if you can read our letter labels together. Read with me. Ready, go. A, B, C. A, B, C. Great job. We just created an A, B, C pattern. An A, B, C pattern uses three letters. A, B, and C, which means an ABC pattern also needs three pictures. In our pattern today, we had the dog and the mouse and the cat. We did use three pictures. Great job working on patterns today. 